The second scenario that really hit home for me was when I went to anatomy lab. Now, if you've ever done dissection lab, we started in first year the same time we did technique, but you start with a fresh cadaver, so all of the skin is on and all. Of, so we really didn't get into the meat of the thing. That was a rude sentence. Until, until a lot later. So I had this, this, this palpation problem that I was working with, and then we were going in, and I remember specifically we were doing the shoulder, so we were dissecting the shoulder. And we went in, and the cada my cadaver uh, was there, and, and mostly everything was intact. So all of the fascia was there, everything was there. And then I left for the weekend, I came back on Monday to anatomy class, and, and my cadaver was dissected for me. All of a sudden, I could see through the axilla, and I could see right into the subscapularis. And I can see the nerves of the around the subscapularis, and I, I saw brachial plexus, and I saw this very beautiful artistic rendition of what the anatomist thought I would see. Because that's what you, what you learn when you look at dissections. The artist is the anatomist. His tool is not a paintbrush, it's a, it's a scalpel. And he goes to dissect out, or she, so that you can see what, what, what he thinks I, he wanted me to see. But what I noticed was, in order to get to what he thought I wanted to see, which apparently was the subscapularis, he had to remove a whole bunch of shit. Just, just a, there's a bucket, and he's cutting all of this tissue, this connective tissue, and he's just slopping it into the bucket, and then that gets incinerated, because that shit's not important. And when I saw that, I thought to myself, oh, he's an anatomist. It doesn't matter to him about all that other stuff, but it matters to us. Because when I go to treat the subscapularis, I'm not allowed to dissect. I've tried. <laughs> and you can't do it. And there was a lawsuit, and I'm, I'm all better for it. Because now I know that you, you, can't, you can't remove that stuff. So as a manual therapist, I have, to, I have to see in layers. FR people in the room. Layering technique. The idea that you can't keep your fingers on a psoas as you go all the way into hyperextension because there's stuff in the way. So there has to be a way for us to compensate for the three-dimensional nature of our clients. So then you start to learn anatomy a little bit differently and you start to look at it differently.